I'm Timothy Jordan, and we're honored to have renowned artist Su Gwen Chung here to talk about her work. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> now, I've been looking forward to your performance here at I.O., and I'd like to talk about it, but first, how about some background? Uh, when did you start working with robots, and why? It's <laughs> a great question. I get asked that all the time. Uh, I started working with robots about five years ago. I've been kind of a digital nomad. I learned to code when I was quite young and uh, got really interested in ways to take uh, what's present inside the simulation of the computer into the physical world. So um, I started with a really simple uh, drawing collaboration with my first robotic arm and yeah, it's just taken off ever since. Now, how has the experience of, say, human-machine collaboration changed your process as an artist? You know, I, I think about that a lot because I think it has changed it quite significantly. Um, I've gotten more accustomed to chaos, uh, to call it, to, to put it mildly. Um, Things going not the way you expected? Yeah, there's a lot of um, uh, erratic, emergent behavior um, or assigned, attributed behavior to working with these machines that you know, really um, got me out of outside of my comfort zone um, from just my simple drawing practice. I think there's something really uh, gestural and, um, you know, the cognitive about mark making mm -hmm. that when you do that with the robotic articulated unit, it, uh, yeah, there's a lot of new surprises. Um, I like to think of working with these machines as a creative catalyst, so that ends up being quite inspiring for me. Interesting. All right, let's talk about the performance a sure, little bit. Sure, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, it was beautiful and elegant. Thank you. I expected that part, right? Because it looked at your work online. Uh, what I didn't expect was something completely different, that your relationship with the robots felt, if I can say, gentle and familial, like they were yeah. family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they it's, pretty much are at this point. So. I mean, tell me about that. How much of what you're doing uh, about the art is about that relationship rather right. than the marks that you're making. You yeah, say. definitely. Um, so I, I implicate the tool as a collaborator. Yeah. And I think, you know, I frame it as a collaboration because we want to facilitate kind, generous collaborations in the world between humans to humans. And I think uh, when I regard these machines as my collaborators, it's a way of, um, yeah, it's a way of just creating a more empathetic model in this, in this uh, context is behavioral empathy, but um, you know when I'm on stage performing with these robots, I think it's it's very much me and them and this captive audience, and that uh, mutual reliance and co-creation ends up um, you know spurting a very emotional connection with them, and and yeah, and I think that we've evolved. Like my process has evolved significantly with uh, this collaborative work, and and they have as well. Um, mm -hmm. It's, I think it's a positive way of slanting um, anthropomorphism. Um, that that's yeah, just been really inspiring for the work. Now, did you have to do anything to build that relationship? Like hang out with them outside of work, or? <laughs> no, we get a few beers every time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I, I, it's honestly, it's there's so much vitality and vulnerability when doing these performances that yeah. um, that you know we've kind of been in this together with the risk of sounding a bit cheesy has made it feel like a really close connection um, in addition to the robotic arms um, I've been designing a multi robotic system that's actually a series of 20 painting robots that uh, also is um, a articulation of this robotic form in a in a different way instead yeah. of one-to-one -one, it's one-to-many and that is a totally different relationship. It's almost like a natural swarm wow. that I'm really excited about. So, so that reframes the relationship too. And yeah, it's, it's, it's like embodied kinetic sculpture. Um, that's only possible in today's moment. And that really excites me. That's really cool. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, the themes of the work that you um, performed here, uh, mimicry, memory, and uh, future speculations. How did you land on those? Uh, so uh, the mimicry was the first generation. Um, I call uh, my robots uh, Doug uh, because the project is named. Yeah, let's just let's just uh, drop the formalities and, and <laughs> call them what they are. No, I uh, started the uh, project and it's called Drawing Operations Unit Generation One. It was focused on mimicry and that was Doug One. Okay. And uh, and yeah, it's sort of grown over time. Uh, 
the it's mimicry, mimicry, uh, mimicry, memory, and future speculations because those are the three chapters of this evolving uh, generational project. I see. So um, I'm really excited about the third because it shows multi-robotic collaboration alongside uh, my human drawing agency, and that's very much where the work is headed towards a more uh, collaborative, uh, more collective um, idea. Is there a fourth generation you have in mind? Uh, yeah, there is. Well, the, the third generation is actually the multi-robotic system, which I is see. the painting um, ones. But the, there's a fourth generation that I can't talk about yet. But, okay. Uh, but it's gonna, it'll be coming soon. Awesome. Well, yeah. look forward to it. Yeah, I'm excited to share it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the score for the work by Aquarian, how did yeah. that contribute to the overall uh, work? It contributed so much. Um, Aquarian has been um, a good friend uh, of mine for quite a while and does some incredible music um, that is actually quite, uh, you know, it's, it's brilliant. I have to, like I was, I think I was describing it earlier as it's a, it's a future, it's futuristic, but also taps into this nostalgia about, you know, uh, jungle and drum and bass mm -hmm. that's really, really interesting. Um, I sort of asked him to uh, come up with the score for me um, and made and you know discussed with him about the themes I'd like him to interpret so he really came up with a beautiful melodic um, work that uh, really adds so much to the piece uh, we were really excited to uh, collaborate with uh, and use the 4d sound system from monome yeah and spatialize this work uh, one component of the performance that we did especially for IO was the integration of um, a contact mic component. So in the beginning, my drawing gestures actually form architectural uh, want, like sound throughout the space. And it was really cool to control like the universe of the performance like that. So we were, we were very excited about it and hope to do it again soon. That's awesome. OK, one more question. Uh, and I have to ask this, what's the biggest surprise your sort of robot partner has ever given you in a performance? That's a, I like your uh, verbiage with that. It's a very, because I do think about it as like giving uh, mm -hmm. of, the, of the artistic uh, behavior. I, I think it's been incredibly surprising. I think one of the reasons I've been working with um, neural nets is its uh, ability to, and, and its native ability to generate non-human um, unexpected behaviors. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a really interesting way of looking at my own work because I train all my um, neural nets on my own drawings uh, to kind of re-examine the type of work I do and see how it feels to be articulated by a unit. So I think it's constantly surprising me, which is probably <laughs> not a, uh, the answer you're looking for. I don't know. I think that's a great answer. <laughs> I, I will say um, what I do find surprising about the duets is uh, not only the robot's output, but um, the, the response to it has been really interesting and it's uh, really taken off a lot of speculative questions about uh, technology and philosophy and uh, sort of what it means to make work uh, as an artist today. So that's been the most surprising uh, connection that uh, this, this performance has created for me. Thank you for that. And thanks for sharing your vision and your art with us here at IO19. Thank you. Thank you.